What up? Elden Ring video. What I have here is a pure strength bonk build, if you will. Now, a couple things I want to mention. I'm on New Game Plus 5. I am level 249, so I know sometimes when you upload videos, people are like, yeah, you're level 200 and something, whatever. You can be level 150 with this, maybe a little bit lower, and have the same build because you really only need attributes in two areas, uh, vigor and strength. You don't need anything else. This is all you're going to need right here. So let's jump into the equipment. And uh, first things first, get the large club. And obviously you want to level this up to plus 25. Now I'm on new game plus five. So this doesn't do as much damage as it should. It is a little underpowered. I have other weapons that are fully leveled up that are better. But because I want to just have this bonk build with it, it is good. Now I have the Ash of War Flame of Red Mains on it because it's really good. It's kind of like Horfrost Stomp. You do this twice on majority enemies, maybe once on some of the, um, you know, lower enemies, and they're going to get stunned or whatever, and then you can just bash them. But, like, most of the bosses, two times, maybe three for some of the, end, you know, more in-game ones, you know, um, it'll stun them or whatever. But uh, overall, it's really good. Uh, you know, Flame of Red Mains. One thing I wanted to mention, for Affinity, I have the heavy version of Flame of Red Mains. If you don't know what I mean by that, I'll just show you real quick. Because uh, the heavy version scales with strength, and that's what we want. So when we come to the uh, Flame of Red Mains right here, you see you have these different affinities. So I have heavy, because the only thing, it keeps the strength scaling at A. And you see the damage that I'm doing, 600 damage, over 600 damage. Uh, quality is the other option right here. Maybe if I had this at plus 25, it may keep strength at A. And then you might want to go to this if you have some dexterity. I don't know what the uh, scaling would look like yet because I don't have it. But, you know, heavy is definitely the way I want to go. Uh, with that said, let's just look at the other items that I have here. So I use in the full bull goat armor set. Now with this, I'm also using the bull goat talisman because that is going to give me that 133 poise. So when I'm doing something like the flame of red mains, if I'm in the middle of the attack, it's not going to stun me or knock me out of the animation. And also because this right here is the best, as far as like heavy armor, this is like the best in the game. Keeps that poise up. You know, you have really good, like, uh, you know, just really good uh, damage negation uh, all across the board. Uh, next up, I'm using Herb Tree's Favor plus two. This one raises my XP, my stamina, and my equipment load. Now it's important for these equipment load um talisman and then i have the arsenal charm there is a plus two that i could use and maybe with the plus two um you know i maybe don't need to use the urge you favor but i like having the extra hp and stamina it's really helpful especially the stamina and then right here you can probably put whatever you want i just went with the crimson amber medallion to give me more hp uh the green turtle talisman is really good because you're going to go through a lot of stamina with this you can even do something like this with the Viridian Amber Medallion. Uh, some of the other options here, uh, maybe uh, Radagon Source Fuel, uh, because that's going to give you strength and dex. You could also use one of these right here. If you wanted to raise your dexterity up some, you know, you got like the, you know, this different heirloom. Another good one I like too is the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. This boosts physical damage negation. Uh, I don't know. I think like what I have right here is what is ideal. And then I have 10 and 4. I have like the Flask of Crimson Tear at uh, plus 10 or 10. And then I have four right here. And the reason why you want to have at least four of the FP um, flask or whatever is because you're going to go through a lot of the FP using that red mains and stuff. Uh, and also my, uh, what's it called? Wondrous flask right here. I have the strength, not crystal tier to boost my strength. And then I have the stone barb cracked here. It uh, temporarily makes stance break easier. So you can break their stance or whatever and knock them a little bit easier um, with certain enemies. So that's what I have in here right now. But uh, I have two different builds of this too. I'm going to show you the other one that's a lot of fun to play with. And it, it's not using the flame of the red main. I'm like, bro, I don't care about PvP. See, I did it twice on him and he's locked. Now all I got to do is just come here. Hit him once, hit him twice, he's stun locked again.
And he flew up. Where's he at? I lost him there. That's on me. One. Two. Oh, I got knocked. Oh, I need FP. I'm an idiot. Let me uh, drink some of this health. To That dragon's pretty strong. Most of the uh, bosses, though, they're not going to. Uh, as you can see right there, like, uh, let's get one more. There we go. We stun him again. We take him out. Uh, easy peasy right there. Uh, some of that's just me, just bad play. But I wanted to use it on an enemy, like, you know, to show you, like, how good that was or whatever. You know, most of the, you know, bosses or enemies that you face are not going to be able just to stomp on you like the dragon or whatever because he's so big. But let's go fight a bear. And we're going to take the same weapon. And what we're going to do is, let me find it. Uh, I know it's right here somewhere. Oh, right here. So you want the lion's claw? Ash of War? And then just keep it at heavy? I mean, you can look at some of the other ones. I mean, this one is good. You know, magic. I mean... But I don't really have any intelligence. Uh, cold could be good. It's not doing as much damage. Occult, it's not doing as much damage. Standard, I mean, you see that. We're doing uh, 600, over 600. Like, uh, what is that? Like 608 damage, something like that total with our scaling and stuff. So I just keep it at heavy right here. And then we got to do a few changes here. So the first change that we got to make is our armor. And then we're going to change all these talisman out. So with the armor, uh, what I've been using was the omen killer. So you want to be light load. So let me find the omen killer. I don't remember where it is or what it even looks like. I do know what it looks like. It's this one. Now this one right here, you're going to take, you know, more hits and whatnot, but whatever. Uh, omen killer. It's right here somewhere. Omen killer robe. The boots. Omen Killer gloves. And I can't remember if I were able to... I don't think I was able to wear the Omen Killer pants with this. Yeah, I wasn't able to wear them. Yet. Oh, no, I am able to wear them. Okay, so we've got the Omen Killer boots. We've got the full outfit on here. And then with this one right here, the most important one, the most important talisman, you're going to want the blue dancer charm for this. You definitely want this. And then right here, I like the Erd Tree Favor personally uh, with this right here. And then we're going to use some Charge Attack Talisman. Uh, we're going to use right here the Axe Talisman. It charges attacks. It doesn't have to be an axe. Uh, and then we want to use the... Where is it at? Uh, right here, Enhances Charged uh, sp uh, Spells and Skills. And if we look at the middle right here... You see it says raises charge attack power of sorceries, incantations, and skills. That would be your weapon skill. So we're going to use that right there. And then I'll just show you this attack. I don't know if I'm going to be able... And make sure you're two-handing this too. I don't think I was... That's another thing I think I messed up on with the bear. I don't think I was two-handing it. You're going to be using a lot more FP. But basically two of these attacks, and it stuns them too. Just can't miss it. See, hit them twice, and it stunned them again. Anyway, you guys get the idea right there. I'm not going to sit here and fight him again. Uh, you guys get the idea of the build right here. I don't think he can get up here. I'll touch the um, grace point anyway. But you see that two of those attacks right there, and he is stunned. Now, the, the whole reason why I went through this is because I was playing PvP and I was using just a bonk build but I definitely think like this heavy club with the lion's claw is definitely really good and a lot of fun to play with now one thing I wanted to talk about I'll jump into this last right here let's go ahead and uh, status what did I do 
uh, swap screen. Okay, so strength, 99. Vigor, 56. Dex, 80. Like I said, for this build, 99 strength. Vigor, as much as you can. You can throw some dexterity in there. It does help. You know, you can throw some endurance in there. It does help. But, like, if you're level 150, you don't even have to have the strength of the 99. Really, probably 80 is all you need, like, with all these builds. Because the return on investment for, uh, you know, adding those extra 19 points into strength is going to be minimal. But whatever. I, I want 99. I don't care what anybody says. Like, 99 is the... Uh, <laughs> it's what I want for this build. Like, you know, if you do it your way, I'm going to do it mine. But you see right there, that bear, I'm just absolutely destroying him with two hits with both of the builds. So it's fun. It's a bonk build. It's pure strength. Uh, like I said, throw everything else in vigor so that you have a lot of health. You could even throw some, you know, into mine so you have a little bit of FP. Now, with the Lion's Claw, you are going to be going through FP a little bit more. So with that said, maybe something like, I mean, you definitely need the Blue Dancer Charm. Uh, you could maybe replace this. Uh, you could maybe replace like Godfrey Icon and maybe even go with something like you could go with the Cerulean Amber Medallion at plus two. You could also do the one that uses less FP, the uh, Cerulean Filigree Crest, because this one right here is for your weapon art. It's going to uh, consume less of your focus power, less of your FP, your mana, whatever you want to call it. So, I mean, you could go with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right here, you could also, I don't know this is, just magic attack yes you can't use that i was looking at the scorpion right there but uh yeah you don't need the bull goat talisman because you had a light load and your poise is not even you need to be at least 50 poise um and then you'll still get knocked but if you have it over 100 like you seen with the bull goat talisman it's really hard for them to knock you the dragon is the exception to that rule whereas like some of the other uh, like you know mid bosses big bosses whatever you got 100 poise it's going to be you're going to have to hit you a couple times for it to stun you or whatever but uh that's the video right there if you have questions or comments feel free to leave that down below uh play with the build have fun with it and like i said keep in mind i'm on new game plus five so a lot of these enemies have a lot more health and my weapon is not fully upgraded even though i am level 250 um really doesn't matter because even at you know uh probably anything over like 125 with the 99 strength you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be able to use the same build. Um, so, got any questions, comments, leave it down below. I'm out. Have fun. Peace.